Welcome to a new tutorial everyone. It's cold and icy outside and I've been daydreaming about summertime on the pond. It's so pretty. We have kind of a shallow pond so the kids can play in the mud and we see lots of beautiful dragonflies. We have three different species of dragonfly on our pond for all of our trout and we also grow beautiful wild daisies around in our pasture. So I thought I'd try and combine these two elements into a new design. I'm going to be using a, a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm marking the center with a compass, making a small circle and then I'll be doing a little bit larger circle around that. And this is just to give me some basic guidelines. I want to make the center of the mandala to look like the center of the daisy, but I want the background to be red and orange instead of black. So I'm just painting that in. So I've got kind of three different shades there. And then I'm going to paint around it in a black matte paint. And then let that dry with the blow dryer before I put my grid lines on. Now I'm marking six inches on each side and I'll be using that for reference later. Using the compass again to make a six inch diameter circle and then I'm going to mark on um, my hashtags here to do a 12 segment grid. So I'm putting the needle of the compass on each of those four marks that we did earlier and then putting a hashtag on either side of that on the circle and then I'm going to connect each of those marks the six inch marks first to give me four segments and then I'll be connecting the hashtags across from each other and then I'll end up with 12 segments like a clock face. And I was thinking of the petals of a daisy and also the shape of a dragonfly wing. So I decided to make two different shapes for this. And I was <laughs> kind of making this up as I was going. Wasn't quite sure if this was going to manifest into what I had in my mind or not. But I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to trace the first petal shape here. And I'm going to skip a line and then trace it again. Do that all the way around and then I'm sort of overlapping the second petal shape and filling that in. You can see there's not really an exact science to this. I wasn't being really careful about getting it exactly. So now I've got a gold center dot and then I'm just offsetting rows of gold dots. I'll be doing that all the way out until I decide to switch to yellow. And this is going to be the center of the flower. Added a little bit of brown to the yellow to give it kind of a goldish look there. And I decided to fill in that space with some brown dots. I started with two, but I didn't like it, so I switched to one. And then I went back with the Q-tip and wiped those off before they dried and then replace them with one. And I wanted to get started on the petals here. And I decided that I would just start walking some dots at the end. I normally, when I'm doing any mandala work, I work from the center out. So this was different for me. I decided to work from the outside in once I got to this point, because I had really had no idea where it was gonna go or what I was gonna do. I just knew I wanted it to kind of look like a daisy and kind of look like a dragonfly at the same time. So I walked large white dots around the second set of petals and then I just started filling in with some purple here. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I just kind of filled in the space and I thought that the other petals might have some more blue on them. So I did six rows predominantly purple and six rows predominantly blue. Just kind of coming out here with the shapes. I wanted to leave some of the black, but not too much. 
So here I'm starting with the periwinkle blue. And you know, I'm not really talking about the sizes of tools or the specific paints here. I'm just sort of giving you an idea of what I'm kind of thinking as I'm designing on the fly here. I really am just making it up and seeing what will fit. And I step back and look at it for a while and I decide, well, I think I want more blue here or more purple here. Or I want to go back to large dots. Or I want to walk some down so they're kind of pointing towards each other. I just wanted a variety of shapes, not only in the sizes of dots, but in um, the ways that they were pointing inward or outward. And then I thought, now it's time to fill in the second set of petals. I'm going to fill those in with white to get sort of that dragonfly wing looking thing going. So I filled in all of the second shape of petals with the white. So they kind of look like dragonflies looking at the center of the flower. And I still had a little bit extra space there on the black. It didn't like the shape of it, so I filled it in a little bit more with some periwinkle and some bright blue. So it wasn't quite so dominant. And then I, of course, did top dots, as always, and a little bit of yellow on the dragonflies and then sprayed it with a clear acrylic. And I really like how it turned out. I'm glad I took a chance on this. Thanks for watching everybody.